Hey boys, we're back today with some more Risk and Ring 2 lore, and today we are going to be talking about Newt, the transcendent one. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I think Newt has control over space and time, respectively. So, start a run up and enjoy. The first piece of evidence that actually supports this theory is the bazaar between time itself. To go to the bazaar between time, you have to offer up a lunar coin to one of the new altars, which effectively gives you another option and opens a portal that takes you directly to the bazaar between time. This is interesting and supports the theory because due to the fact that the new altars are scattered all across the planet, which means anywhere you essentially access it from, you can open a portal from that location, regardless of space, and give you access to the bazaar between time, which kind of just shows that he has access or some mastery over space itself. The next piece of evidence that basically supports our theory comes from one of the survivors, Acrid, aka our, our favorite poison doggo. But he basically supports a lot of this effort, evidence because of information from Risk of Rain 1 and Risk of Rain 2. In Risk of Rain 1, to unlock Acrid, you basically have to free him from being chained up in the contact light. So basically, from this we can tell that Acrid was a prisoner or taken against his will from wherever some planet some other place to the contact like shit and he was basically imprisoned against his will so he would have every reason to want to escape and break out from the ship so in risk of rain one when you beat the game with acrid it says and so it left with the new hunger to be left alone acrid didn't want to be involved in anything with humans or other people or probably any other species he just wanted to be left alone and find a place where you know he can just live and be in solitude by itself. In Risk of Rain 2 to unlock Acrid, you have to complete the achievement to be left alone. Which means you have to free Acrid basically from the Void Prison. The Void Prison is located at the bottom of a bazaar between time. Which is interesting because it shows that the portal down there has frozen or Void Reavers that are frozen in it with the same crystal that Newt uses at the top of his, his uh, bazaar to keep them frozen in place. And there's a crushed one on the ground and another one on the way down, which gives you the idea that at some point, Acrid met up with Newt and asked him to give him a place to be left alone, which is the void prison, which is the reason that it's down there at the bottom of the bazaar between time. Newt, Newt more than likely opened the portal due to his mastery over space and allow Acrid to stay there so he can be left alone. We don't know why Newt probably helped Acrid, but it fulfilled what Acrid wanted, basically. Okay, my third point for believing that Newt has mastery over space is when you have enough damage and you're basically on a guy run. When you damage Newt, he automatically ejects you from the bazaar between time. He teleports you. So I won't get into the scientific aspect, but it is extremely difficult with any apparatus or type of tool to teleport a multi-celled organism intact to another location without their body being ripped apart by spatial turbulence and coordinates and all that jazz and he also instantaneously seals up the bazaar between time with this special crystal that he likes to use which is could be also another form of manipulation of time space and matter itself which even makes it scarier okay moving along to the reasons i think newton can control time basically it's pretty obvious is that when you first go into the bazaar between time also when you're in the void realm time is stopped until you leave that realm or domain time is completely stopped for you so newt seems to only be the the only differentiating factor of why it was stopped there so he probably has power over time as well and then after that would be the mentioning and use of time in the items many of the lunar items themselves and how they mention time so one of the first items that mentions the use or news relative power over time is shape glass, which basically reads pairing unstructured glass from the heart of the moon sung out in ethereal wisps over the course of three cycles. Pause. We fold time into its material twice our time in his a cost he was willing us to pay folded and shaped with the guy's designs. He wields it in one of many great hands. The time we injected is unfolded in his grasp, outputs quicken, muscles compress twice, twice as many intentions, intentions, twice the order complexities. Folded upon themselves, 
loops loop back onto question mark in pairs time dependent functions pause he sunders a construct into a thousand pieces but time is fair micro tears begin to uncoil in pairs muscles begin to snap twice as fast the cost of folded time but he has plenty of time the other relevant lunar item lore log would be the hellfire tincture because it also has a line where they reference time and the after they finish creating the mixture at the end they state i ignite he measures my time this is also interesting due to the fact newt seems to be the only relative character that has any mastery or control over time so from the shaped glass we can interpret it says that the glass was sung out from the moon and we already know who is on the moon providence's sibling and the lunar items themselves can only be gotten from the bazaar between time which shows newt has access to the moon and more than likely has had some dealings with providence's sibling in some way who more than likely created the lunar items as i went over this in the lunar craftsman's video as they probably have some relative connection towards each other and the last piece of evidence that i think probably proves newt's power over time and also mastery over space would be the lore log for transcendence i made a video on transcendence i'll put a link to that in, in the description or a card up there so you guys can watch that watch that first and i'll be able to elaborate more it helps you understand the theory a lot better but basically from the way the game progresses you you unlock things as the game progresses and the game resets every time you play but what you unlock basically stays unlocked so it begs the idea or theory that the survivors themselves are in a time paradox and they have to keep experiencing this over and over and we don't know if they'll escape the loop because you know we don't have an since the before the 1.0 update we don't have a specific end to the game so it vi validates the idea in theory that the survivors are stuck in a time paradox also the narrator of the transcendence lore logs creates a really serious fourth wall break which validates the fact that Newt will probably have access to the real world or many other dimensions. But the last piece of evidence that I think really supports the fact that Newt has some control over time comes from the Brittle Crown lore log when Providence's sibling basically says, your death is fated. And when you die, and you will die, I will be waiting. I have been patient for millennia. That planet is mine. Basically, I feel as though Newt told Providence's sibling that Newt would die due to the fact that he has control over time in comparison to the future or the past. Due to the fact because we know Newt basically got the lunar items from the moon. Hence the lunar term. But this creates a really interesting interaction between two characters that we really don't know too much about. And it took me a while to come up with this theory. Or at least scour the lore logs for relevant information. But I have more theories on the way. Hope you guys enjoy like sub share and i'll see you guys next time oh and if you guys want to play risk of rain with me i'm on twitch.tv slash dragon x and my stream schedule is real right now but i'll figure it out in a while wait till quarantine's over so stay safe and i'll talk to you guys later